Thank you, Gina. Um, so just to remind you, as Gina said, we are going to be presenting all the playable prototypes as soon as this sequence of uh, talks uh, end. And there will be two upstairs, two downstairs, and another one that will start here and go for a wonder. Um, so when we do finish the talks, try and kind of be engaged in finding them uh, because we won't have a lot of time before we then start the final session, okay? And now I'd like to call Tadeo from the Music Hack Space, who will talk a little bit about um, their model and his work. Thank you. Hi, thank you. Um, yeah, I'm going to show you a video that... that should explain everything that I'm about to tell you. So, but the video is nicer than, than me saying it. But the, the battery of the mouse is lost. Mm. Okay, so... Um, so Music Hackspace, I'll just, I'll just start. Is a is a community and a platform uh, that provides uh, both a physical space and a platform, as I said, for uh, music makers, people interested in music technology, sound art, uh, people that want to learn new skills, uh, new processes, and and uh, about uh, different ways of of making music and, and creating. Uh, it's not uh, a place where people come to make music, but more uh, where people come to, to learn uh, about um, how they could make music, to, to learn how to build their own tools. Uh, we, uh, we have a program of, of workshops and artist talks and uh, where where we facilitate uh, this this environment, and is this working? No. Okay, and um, uh, we're currently based in in East London. Uh, throughout our history, we've been uh, we're quite nomadic. So, as an audio lab, uh, we started as a as a spin-off uh, in the London hack space for people interested in music. Uh, then we've, we did a residency at the Barbican. Uh, we've done shows at VNA. Yeah. Um, yeah, one sec. And uh, then we've, uh, there was a time where we didn't have a, a space and we, we did our meetups and our workshops in a cafe. Uh, and then last year we, we got hold of a, of a container in Broadway Market that really helped us uh, scale up our game and get funding and this year we're based in residence in in Lime Wharf, uh, a creative art hub so um, our future is is promising and we want to to keep uh, growing uh, as a as, as the, the the place in London where music makers come to um, and yeah if we can play the video now the yeah Space is really a place for everybody to learn something. Our audience is composed of mostly engineers and artists. It's a perfect match because artists can help the engineers and focus their work, and engineers can help artists realize their vision. We have a very varied program which includes sound art, interactive installations, music technology devices, and other types of audio related works. The seminar program offers a platform for members of the music technology scene and the sound art community to come and present their individual practice. Our program focuses at the intersection of music, art and technology and we try to provide a network for people passionate about those fields. The influence of maker movements and DIY approaches is providing an open space where creative coders, engineers, sound artists and musicians come together and work in a quite open manner. I've definitely known people who've come along to Music Hack Space as musicians who maybe had an interest in computing or technology who've gone away thinking, yeah, okay, I want to learn more about this thing. 
It was kind of a new departure for me because I'm classically trained and then sort of went into electroacoustic music. So I came along and built the Signum device under Victor's instruction. Signum device is like an instrumentation amplifier which allows you to register like signals above our hidden range. The electronic course was called DIY Electronics. I think the idea was to give people confidence, like that they can make everything themselves, give them courage to explore stuff on their own. Art Music Hackspace is a community of people who really understand what they're doing and really kind of committed enabling others to make and create together. Um, I did. I did an add that we have a, a residency program funded through, through Sound and Music and uh, with our first artist in residence, Timory Brown, that's how we got to know Georgia. Uh, but just to add that we also have residency. And I'll be around if you have any questions. Thank you. Thank you. Just a Luciana video, yeah, thank you. Um, so now we have the video from Luciana Fleshman that we missed earlier today, but uh, that will be followed up by Joe in any conversation you want to have. So remember, anything that arises from Luciana's video, please get in touch with Joe. And we can also, f uh, Luciana has allowed us to forward any questions or interest of contact to her. We can also pass on her Twitter and contact.